successes. Let me just make one other point clear. There's no question of this report being delivered to me and me deciding, myself deciding not to publish it in terms of the election. The whole report is not going to reach the Prime Minister's desk, whoever that is, uh, until after the election. Dame Angela Watkinson. Prime Minister, join me in congratulating Havering Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Havering Branch of Mind, who are coming to mock together tomorrow evening in an event to promote employment opportunities for people with mental health problems. Yes. I, I will certainly do that. I think it's right that mental health is getting a much higher political profile today than it has in the past. In terms of the National Health Service, we've given it parity of esteem in the NHS constitution. But my honourable friend is absolutely right that one of the key challenges is helping people with mental health conditions get into work. And there's a lot more that business can do by engaging with the charities to help people in, in that situation. Mr. David Winnick. As we know, next week it will be 70 years since Auschwitz was liberated by the Russians. And is it not important that when issues like Palestine are raised, and I've done so and will continue to do so, that should be no excuse for anti-Semitism, a murderous disease which took the lives of millions of innocent people, indeed, during my own lifetime? Let me say I agree 100 per cent. He was mistaken. A very large deficit remains. What is the reason, in his view, why his economic plan has fallen so far short? Yeah. Well, we inherited from Treasury ministers, including himself, uh, the biggest deficit of any country in the Western world. And as a share of GDP, we have cut that in half. Now, we've done that through a combination of reducing public spending, of making sure we have responsible tax policies and strong economic growth. That is what we've delivered. All the way through, the Labour Party's proposals have been for more spending, more borrowing and more debt. They haven't even got to base camp of working out why the deficit matters. The General Howard. As the member privileged to represent the home of the British Army in Aldershot, which I can, I can tell the father of the house was established as a direct result of the inquiry into the crime.